Revelation. He began to sense a presence not in the trees or the stars, but within the silence of his own awareness. It felt vast, invisible, and eternal. Was it a god, or merely the echo of evolution reflected through a mind too young to bear its own clarity? Perhaps the first god was fear itself, the sacred illusion that rose the moment intelligence awoke. Where beasts slept, he dreamed. And his dreams were filled with both gods and monsters. Fire gave him warmth and protection, but also reflection. It devoured the wood and showed him the image of death. It burned the dark away, yet cast new shadows in its place. He saw the bones of his prey and understood that one day those bones would be his own. Thus was born the first philosophy, that life feeds on life, and that every act of survival carries the seed of loss. To live was to consume and to be consumed. He began to sense that existence itself was built upon sacrifice. Evolution had forged him through pain, but now he imagined a world without it. And in that imagining, he invented heaven. He dreamed of spirits, of meaning, of eternity, to heal the wound of knowing that all Stay things close, die. My little ones. He was the first creature to look upon the stars and see, in their silence, a reflection of his own being. Through him, the universe became aware of itself. In his fragile heart, creation found its mirror. But this awakening came at a price, he could no longer return to the calm simplicity of instinct.